multiplying and dividing numbers that are in polar form. Okay, now I'm going to give you the formula for this, and then we're going to go uh, from there. Okay, so let's just take our, um, I'm going to give these polar numbers, let's say z is equal to radius 1 times cosine of theta 1 plus i sine of theta 2 and let's do uh, let's call it I don't know, y y is equal to a different number so it's got a different radius and it's got a different theta value. So this is just two uh, John and Sam. Hold on, I need to change this angle right here. First one is theta one. Okay. Because those have to have the same angle, of course. Multiplying these two complex numbers in polar form is, is really pretty simple. Z times Y is equal to, we're just going to multiply the two magnitudes or radiuses or norms of those two numbers, and we are going to add the angles. Theta 1 plus theta 2 plus I sine theta 1 plus theta 2. Okay. Now, Let's go ahead and get the other formula. If we're dividing these two numbers, z divided by y is equal to radius 1 divided by radius 2 times cosine of, any guesses what we're going to put here? Theta 1 minus theta 2 because multiplication and division are inverse operations and so are addition and subtraction plus I sine theta 1 minus theta 2. Okay. So they're not different? No, the two formulas are very uh, similar to each other. And uh, I'm going to allow you to write these on your formula sheet, your unit circle formula sheet. You can have these formulas for tests and quizzes. Because if you ever needed it in real life, you can look it up. Are you recording? Wait, who said that? Yes. Okay, so that's the two formulas for polar form. Other than this is your real life at this point in time in your existence. You'll need it here, life? but yes. For now, you're not just an amalgam. All right. Um, so let's let's put this into practice. Y'all ready to see an example? Let's do. Let's do. Um, let z equal, here's an example, z equal 3 cosine of 15 degrees plus i sine of 15 degrees. And we'll do some of these, we'll do some of these in radians in just a minute. And let's let the, our other complex number, we'll just call it y, uh, equals 2, let's make it negative 2, negative 2 cosine of 30 degrees plus I sine of 30 degrees. Z times Y would be what? Z times Y is going to equal negative 6, that's 3 times negative 2, 
times the cosine of 45 degrees plus I sine of 45 degrees. That's it. Now we're going to go one step further and we're going to convert this into back into standard form or rectangular form of this complex number. Okay. It's called rectangular form because it kind of creates rectangular coordinates. A plus BI, standard form, rectangular form. They're, those two terms are interchangeable. And I'm using it because your assignment sheet tonight says rectangular form instead of standard form. So standard form of a complex number is A plus BI. Okay. Um, now, so to change this to standard form or rectangular form, I'm just going to do what the cosine of 45 is. What is the cosine of 45? It is square root of 2 over 2. Plus I times the sine of 45 degrees, which is also the square root of 2 over 2. Wait, what's that for? Rectangular? I'm putting this back into standard form or rectangular form. So negative 6 times uh, square root of 2 over 2, when you distribute there, you get negative 3 square root of 2 uh, minus 3i square root of 2 over 2. And that's it. That's the rectangular form of that product. Wait, how do you get it over 2? Oh, the 2 needs to be gone. Thank you. Good catch. Yes, there's two answers, okay? Um, there's two answers here. This is the answer in um, polar form. This is the answer in rectangular form or standard form. So you need to be able to express one in terms of the other. Okay, now, th now this number right here, if we went back and put it into um, polar form by doing what we did yesterday, that would be the polar form of it to start with. So changing a number from polar form back to standard form is really easy. You just do the math. Um, and if you're calcul if you're you know in calculator mode, I used a nice round number here so we could get exact values. Um, but if this was you know the cosine of pi over you know seven or something like that, we don't have exact values for that. We'll have to go to our calculators for that. Okay. And the next one's going to give us an example of that. Z divided by y in this case is going to give us an example of that. All right, let's do z divided by y. We did z times y. That's example one. Example two is going to be z divided by y. So it's the same, value. same value. Same z and y. Yeah, I don't want to make any up, even though this one's not going to work out that well. Those of you in YouTube land, that was uh, Stephen that was blowing his nose. Um, so the next example, YouTube z divided by y is going to equal 3 divided by negative 2 times, got to be careful here, cosine of negative 15 degrees. 15 minus 30 is negative 15 degrees, and that absolutely makes a difference, right? Wait, you mean 35 minus 15 minus 30. Yeah, so our, our, our resulting theta here is, uh, so 15 minus 30 again is negative 15 degrees. So that's our answer in polar form. Now, to do this one, to convert this one to, convert this one to rectangular form, we're going to, Use our calculators and let's let's keep let's just keep one decimal place here. What is negative three halves or negative one point five times the cosine of negative fifteen degrees? Sydney, what'd you get? Um, a calculator from the shelf, yes. <laughs> What'd you get, Jade? Negative 1.4. We're just keeping one decimal place here. If this was something that really mattered, like a you know vector we were trying to calculate and work with, we would want to keep more decimal places. 
And then negative 3 point or negative 1.5 times the sine of 15 degrees is what? Negative 15 degrees. Okay. That's going to be minus, isn't it? Something different in there. <laughs> is your calculator in degree mode? Maybe not. Let's see. Zero. 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 No, it's positive 0. 0.4. So put in degree. 0. 0.4 times. I. Wait, 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 wait. So is the first one not positive? No, the first one is negative because cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Okay. And so negative times positive, negative times positive is going to give us negative. Yeah. Sine is po is negative in the sine is negative in the fourth quadrant. So negative times negative gives you positive. Is it yeah, you can put your eye in the front. That's the answer in rectangular or standard form. Why is it plus? This is the answer in um, polar form. Now, it's plus because the calculator is going to give you the correct sign of your answer there. Okay. But it's also, if you want to think of it, though, negative 15 degrees is a quadrant 4 angle, and sine is negative in quadrant 4. So I'm multiplying this negative value on the outside times that negative value on the inside, and that gives me a positive. But if you do negative 1.5 times the sine of negative 15 degrees, it'll give you a positive value out. You don't have to make any adjustments for um, the sine of the values. Okay? You all all right with this? All right, let's do one, uh, one more of these in... Um, and let's do it in radian mode to start. Okay? Yes? Let's, so let's let z equal radian mode. Let's let z equal the square root of 2 times cosine of 3 pi over 2 plus i sine of 3 pi over 2. And y is, let's let it be also the square root of 2, times the cosine of pi over 4 plus i sine pi over 4. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to multiply and we're going to divide. Come on in, Miss Di. All right, so let's do z times y. z times y is going to equal square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. two. So you multiply the radii and you add 3 pi over 2 and pi over 4. 3 pi over 2 is 6 pi over 4, right? Common denominator. 6 yeah. pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is so. 7 pi over 4 plus i sine of 7 pi over 4. It's going to be the same. Right? And then we will distribute, take the cosine of 7 pi over 4. Now, this is where radians Wait, is. Polar form, right? Yes, that's the polar form answer. If the answer was supposed to be in polar form, that's it. Okay. okay. Uh, we're going to convert our answer to rectangular form or standard form, just A plus B I form. Um, cosine of 7 pi over 4, reference angles pi over 4, I'm in the fourth quadrant. Okay, square root of 2 over 2, and cosine is positive there, so that's going to be 2 times square root of 2 over 2 plus i times the sine of 7 pi over 4, negative square root of 2 over 2. All right. And the 2's cancel, and we're just left with square root of 2 minus i times the square root of 2. That's the rectangular form of that complex number. Over two, over two, over two. Um, cosine of 7 pi over 4. 
Okay. I'm sorry, seven pi over four is right here. Square root of two over two, negative square root of two, cosine, sine. Okay, I know how to do this. Yeah, so it's kind of putting together some of the stuff that we did in the previous units. Okay. <laughs> right, Sydney? Who's calculator that charging? You good? All right. Um, let's do Z divided by Y. You all okay with this? Z divided by Y. is equal to one times three pi over two minus pi over four it's five pi over four right six pi over four minus pi over four is five pi over four plus i sine of again 3 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is 5 pi over 4. You do. 3 pi over 2 minus pi over 4. Yeah. So 6 pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is 5 pi over 4. We never get past struggling with adding and subtracting fractions. All right, so now we are uh, going to switch our polar form answer. That is the polar form answer. We're going to switch that polar form answer to um, rectangular form. And I'm going to do that uh, just by taking the cosine of 5 pi over 4 and the sine of 5 pi over 4. You can do that from your unit circle, or maybe you have it memorized at this point. Cosine of 5 pi over 4 is negative. negative. So this is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2. I'm multiplying by 1, so that's not going to change anything. Plus, or is it going to be plus or minus? It's going to be minus because the sine of um, 5 pi over 4 is also negative. And then you'd put the i, right? That's it. That's it. My unit circle is my best friend. All right, so we have uh, two answers here. One is in polar form and one is in rectangular form. Now, on our next quiz, guys, and I think we'll do a quiz on Thursday of this week. Y'all listen up. Or, yeah, I don't know, tomorrow. No, let's do Thursday. We'll do a quiz on Thursday of this week on converting polar form to rectangular form. Rectangular form to polar form, and multiplying and dividing in polar form, okay, which is just kind of what we've done since our last uh, deal. Uh, Karen? Um, I'll only be here first period on Thursday, and I have to take a public test then, so when should I take it? You could take it after this class or tomorrow okay. at some point. No, you'll be allowed to write those on your sheet but that's probably something that you should do tonight go ahead and write the formulas from yesterday um, the formula for r and theta finding r and theta in polar form and these formulas for um, multiplying and dividing go ahead and write those on your unit circle sheet and then you'll have those moving forward okay, okay. all right